This is James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society at Cinegear Expo 2023. I'm here with my friend Jay Margolis of Infinity Photo Optical Company. He's the brains behind the operation. Uh, he's uh, invented lots of things for micro and macro photography. Uh, can you tell us about that, Jay, and, and tell us what's new? You Thanks very much, Jim. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, the lenses that we have at the show today are different from every other lens that's on exhibit at the show because they work on microscope principles rather than anything else. So all of the lenses we might say are conventional. These are microscope lenses and because of that they have unique characteristics, as you know, Jim. The uh, fact is they can actually focus from infinity down to two inches and in macro mode they can go to 4x and in micro mode they can actually go 0 to 16x which literally makes every other macro lens kind of anemic in that sense. So they are special. And as I conceive it now, last year when you interviewed me, we announced that these were a, a studio in a lens case, which is true. But uh, now in the last year, with all the convulsions that have been in the industry, it really becomes apparent that these lenses are kind of an insurance policy to creativity. Because People can do things they could never do with regular and conventional lenses, such as, for example, on robotic arms, it's no longer necessary to program them. For they, focus. They are in focus everywhere, essentially. We now came out also with a new snorkel lens called the Dipper, and it can actually keep things in focus from two millimeters to infinity. And has a hydrophobic lens on the front in conjunction with Edmund, it was developed in conjunction with Edmund Optics, so that we can actually dip to 10 inches and then pull out and immediately go in air uh, to infinity uh, to about 20 millimeters. So uh, that acts as a 60 millimeter equivalent lens. The fact is these lenses, in my opinion anyway, are an insurance policy in the future because they allow new creativity. For example, uh, DP Peter Chapman uh, has demonstrated for the South Dakota Health Department that he kept the uh, last cigarette in existence in the Museum of, uh, ex of Extinction. And uh, the people who are looking at this don't know what a cigarette is, but they're 12 to 15 feet in the background, all in focus. So that now it's possible to actually do 3D tabletop commercials. Uh, since these keep in focus uh, everything from uh, infinity to two millimeter to, to two inches, uh, the result is that it's possible to, uh, as I mentioned before, use robotic arms with abandon. You can also run with these. Um, there are many uh, pictures, for example, uh, in nature where you'd want to see a dung beetle, for example, take off and then go out to infinity and it's all kept in focus. And unfortunately, we have such footage but because of an NDA, we can't show it quite yet. And it's very frustrating because George Van Alpen is one of the best nature photographers around, and he did this uh, magnificent work, <laughs> but we can't show it except privately to people. However, the use of these lenses now makes it possible, as I mentioned earlier, to have an insurance policy in the future in a way that other lenses can't do. Now that's not to say that they're not good lenses that are available, but that is to say that these are unique. They work on a different principle. I think it's also um, a great versatility that it's sort of like a universal lens mount. All you have to do is get a lens mount and you can put this on pretty much any camera, full a frame or super 35. Abs absolutely, Jim. Uh, there's no limitation. In fact, there's no limitation on the format because these are actually projection systems inside since they're microscopes. They may look like endoscopes or typical probe lenses in, in the past, but they are totally different. And as a result, the projection allows that if there's enough light throughput, um, you can actually project onto the ceiling. Uh, that's how the, the format is not, that even, big, a, yeah. not, even, a, uh, not even a consideration. And now, here's what's happening, in my opinion anyway. 
I think cinematography has taken a turn for the future in that ISO is now becoming virtually irrelevant. Uh, the movie um, creator was taken at ISO 12,500, I believe, 12,000 at least, uh, with an FX3 camera. And this should tell us something. Uh, and I believe that my lenses actually, just by happenstance perhaps, are ready for the future. Yeah, because they do take a lot of light, but uh, well, the cameras are coming up. Well, the cameras today, I, I mean, you can use 3,200 uh, and beyond uh, with abandon, yeah, and the, and then there's now the techniques like uh, Topaz AI. That the future, I think, favors the use of these lenses more than we know right now. Okay. I think if people investigate them, they'll be very pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm already a big fan. I, I know. So you've thank done you some Jim. very good work with it too, which we have on our site. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank That's you. True too. Thank you, Jim.